Hey guys, I want to take a few moments to go over the uh, multiple rank tracking functionalities we have built into Local Viking. Uh, it's quite a few and they are really, really neat and we pride ourselves on um, using a combination of different methods to provide the most accurate rank tracking results. I know that's been an issue over the past, you know, especially year, year and a half of rank trackers just delivering um, lackluster results. So. First things first, when you're inside one of your locations, you can pop down here and see that you can add keywords. It's very simple. Um, I also have a video that goes over the keyword crediting system, but essentially each keyword you add into this box um, and then each type of device you would like to track for that keyword is going to equal one credit so we have keyword number one and we select all three types each time our system uh, crawls and updates its results it's going to cost three credits and then you can modify the frequency um, basically it's just a system to preserve your credits or to allocate them uh, properly and if you need if you do need additional um, credits we you can grab packages of them right from the site so it's as simple as that to add um, this is you know a visual representation of increase or decrease in rankings as you can see the ranks here um, your keyword will be here it's it's very simple uh, before we hop out of here I want to go over two additional options we have so on the right you're going to see these 4G links so this is going to allow you to click and what we're, we're using two different methods I'll explain them briefly uh, now so this is for desktop Google organic results and mobile Google organic results and essentially this is um we're, we're just using using a location hash to try and set your browser to a specific location in the actual city of the keyword you're tracking so we can try to get um, you can kind of just double check your results you can see them in the live SERPs and it's another way just to show you know quote unquote as accurate rankings as possible. The next two links are going to be your Google Maps results for desktop and then your Google Maps results for mobile. And again, we're actually using uh, GPS coordinates injected into the URL. A again, the idea is to convince the browser that you're physically searching from that location to try to provide you with the most accurate rank tracking results. Uh, it's pretty pretty neat little feature. Next we have the geo area tracking that you can trigger on or off and I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like and the features built in there. Turning that on is going to enable our geo grid rank tracking. Um, let me show you quickly how this works. So let's say we were searching for Pizza Hut, Pizza Delivery, we can set our grid size let me set that to like 200 and we'll search so essentially uh, what this is doing this is actually piping uh, geo specific rankings in directly from the Google API again this is another another instance of some of the most accurate rank tracking results you can get online so basically it's gonna populate these nodes on your map and uh, each node is going to represent the visibility of this business, this business name that we just put in. Um, it's going to represent the visibility in different areas of the city. And you can increase the grid size. You can increase the distance between the grid points. And, um, you know, basically it's going to allow you to dig deep inside of your campaign and determine um, areas of the city in which your client or your, your money site is lacking visibility. And you can implement strategies which we'll talk more about on the blog and other places to increase visibility in those areas. We do have some cool features coming where these nodes are actually going to show uh, where this business ranks in the three pack and you'll be able to actually click these nodes and it'll pull up a modal that'll have all of the GMB's ranking so you can at a glance determine which competitors are uh, taking up the most visibility. Nodes that are grayed out means you have zero visibility, you're not in the top 20. And then of course we use a gradient color scale to 
allow you to visualize other areas that lack or perform well in terms of visibility. All of these reports get saved down here so you can view them at any time. And again, it's just another really solid way to produce just hyper accurate GMB rank tracking results. So have fun uh, playing with these features, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.